All right. Um. Oh. Nobody saw that. Uh, we're building an orphanage in Africa, man. I watched like the first couple seconds. Yeah, the first thirty seconds of this video. Hundred and fifty-three yeah, million decided, orphans just watch and a shit. huge portion of them sick. don't even have access to electricity, water, or toilets. And as a part of our mission to make the world a better place, we will be supporting orphanages all around the world. We're kicking off this mission in Kailicha, South Africa, where we found an orphanage that needs our help immediately, or it faces the chance of getting shut down, which we can't let happen because it would severely impact the lives of hundreds of children. But the clock is ticking, and we need to act fast to get these kids the same opportunity and basic necessities that me and you take for granted, and save the place that they call home. I was originally born in South Africa. This is a beautiful country. The people over here are amazing, but it does definitely have its problems. There's huge wealth disparity, and there are areas that are extremely poor. In the center of this crime and poverty stricken Holy township, shit. there's a brave woman named Mama Rosie, who's risen above all odds and developed an orphanage called Bapuma Lele Children's Home. 30 years ago, an abandoned baby was left on her doorstep. And Mama Rosie took that child in, and soon her reputation spread as someone with too much of a heart to turn any child Damn, away. Damn, man. That's awesome. I started back then, I saved more than 5,330 children. Holy shit! And what's tragic is that after all of Mama Rosie's perseverance, wow. work, and daily struggle to get food and water to these kids, the health and safety department has deemed the orphanage unfit to house these orphans and threatening to close it down. Damn. Oh, I was heartbroken. Where are these Damn, children that I built to? All the roofing is asbestos. Asbestos was used to build the roofs of the Bapuma Lele orphanage because it's highly fire resistant and really affordable. But it's been made illegal as it's highly toxic and exposure to these chemicals just through a simple breath can cause cancer and many other health problems. Jesus. Every day is a struggle. Every day it's a fundraising. We don't have food. We don't have electricity. But we keep on opening the doors, knowing that maybe someone will come to our rescue. Like this. Yeah, like Mr. Beast, like these Jimmy. Are absolutely amazing. I want them to have an opportunity to have a future where they're not going to be plagued by health problems and conditions like that. And it breaks this, my heart knowing that they are starting out from the. This is the best video I've watched all week, man. By far, it's probably this. This is probably the best year I've watched in, or the best video I've watched in a in a while, man. Plagued by. It's health just so and like wholesome like that, and, and and touching. It breaks my heart knowing that they are starting out from the time that they're infants and young children. And they're going to be exposed to you know, all of the problems at this place. That that was all I needed to know about what was going on here. To know that we had to step in and remediate the problem. Fuck yeah. We've made it our priority to ensure that Mama Rosie's legacy stays alive and continues to save thousands of children by w. rebuilding 12 homes over the next six months that will have electricity, toilets, and fresh running water. And in addition to this, we will be subsidizing all the cost of living from staff to constant healthy foods for every child. You have helped me so, so much. Thank you. Thank you. you. Dude, that is sick. This video is a company that reached out to us and said they were super keen to help us in any way they could. Electric e bikes is an awesome company full of incredible people. So much so that when we received the final cost of this project, it was much higher than we originally discussed. And they said no problem and doubled their payment for their sponsorship, which gave Darren and the team enough funds to rebuild these 12 houses. Electric e bikes are a great way to get around with clean energy. Damn. Check out the website and click the link in the That's description sick, and bro. buy their e-bikes so we can continue to do awesome projects like this with them. Really? We want true. to continue to support Mama Rosie and these orphans for many years to come. So please click the donate button below the video or click the link in the description to purchase the merch that the kids themselves design. We're going to use all the money to help support Mama Rosie's orphanage and merch that the Dude, these are sick.
kids themselves design. That's fucking Boy badass, all man. the money to help support Mama Rosie's orphanage and help her legacy lives on for many years to come. Also, massive shout out to Dan Bass, who recently joined the Peace Philanthropy team. He's going to be working on all our videos this year. He's an amazing YouTuber, and you should go subscribe to him down below. It's taken us months to get to this point, but here's to the start of a healthier future for the thousands of kids that are going to pass through this orphanage and to the hundreds of thousands of kids that we hope to help around the world over the next few years. Damn.